Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Connor and today I am doing a Christmas special. So, should have changed my intro to be Merry Christmas. So, I am filming this on Christmas Day. Um, me and my family just opened presents not too long ago. And unsurprisingly, I got quite a few cars. So, this is going to be a long special video all about that. And I don't have any time to waste, so let's get right into it. Starting with this beauty. So I got this actually last night at my another part of my family's Christmas. And actually, super quick, I'm going to change my camera setup. So uh, one second, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back. And okay, so here it is. This is the car. It is a 2021 Bentley Flying Spur Mulliner Edition in Neptune Blue. So, I've been wanting this car for quite a while, um, but my aunt finally surprised me with, well, actually, sorry, I guess it was my cousin who got me this. So, so much. This is a really big thank you. A huge thank you, I should say, to my cousin Noah. Uh, so, like, thanks for this. So, this is just super cool. The brand is Mini GT, and this is the exact one that I wanted. So, thank you so much. So, yeah, this is the first one. Super cool. I really love the detail. This is my first Mini GT, and it is super impressive. So I can't waste too much time on it, but yeah, there you go. That's the first one. On to the next already. Okay, this is the next car. This is from my cousin Becca this time. So huge thank you to Becca for this. And so here it is. This is a Tarmac uh, Mercedes AMG G63 Shmi 150 edition. So, this is easily probably one of the coolest cars that I own. And that's saying a lot, because I own a lot of cars that I really like. But it's just, some of these details are crazy. That's the back of the box. Now, show you. Also, it came with this, like, certificate. So, it kind of looks like the back of the box. But on this side, limited edition all over it. Number 1767. Um, comment down below how many of these were made. I don't know, and I honestly would like to know. So, there you go. There's the back. Now for the actual car. Take the cover off. This, this thing is incredible. Oh, my. Also, yes, I have seen it. I just, every time I look at it, it's amazing to me. So, here it is. The Shmi 150 Mercedes AMG G63. So there it is. It's got his actual license plate. I'm pretty sure it actually is different, but they don't want to just give away his license plate. Um, even though he shows it on his channel. But yeah, so there you go. Super cool. I like the front of it. Just the detail. And also, yes, there's interior detailing. Which is insane. <laughs> I, It's so hard to show. But, so yeah, there's that. There's the back. Again... And also, something that you should notice is that all of this trim, like the bumper, um, oh, the back tire cover, all of that is custom blue. So, he paid a ton of money for this. But yeah, I think that he honestly, pretty sure that he sold it now and got something else, but super cool. Also, a little fun fact is that it matched with his McLaren Senna. And that's it. On to the next one. Okay, I am back with another one of the cars, and this one, I actually, so, my sister, this one is from my sister, so shout out to Kinsey, go watch a video that I made with her a while ago, um, but anyway, so here it is, this is a Maesto Players Lincoln Navigator Limousine, so, this thing is just so cool, I love the details, so, it is Maesto, I'm not even sure how much this was, um, because that's not a polite thing to do on Christmas. But here it is. This is just such a cool car. Also, yes, that's not just you. It is slammed. That's super awesome. Really like it. Got a very small moonroof on the roof. Does not open. No moving parts on this except for the wheels. But there you go. It is a stretch limousine. Got tinted windows. Super cool. Back doesn't look too different. But yeah, there's that. Bottom, very cool, and also, yes, it, it rolls really well, so, super cool, um, shout out to Kinsey, thank you so much for this, 
on to the next car. Okay, so this one is from my mom and dad, so shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for all that you do and all of the wonderful gifts, so thank you so much. Um, but anyway, this is the Bugatti Bolide Hot Wheels. So here it is. There's the base if you want to see. Also, I guess I'm not completely sure. It's either Bolide or Bolide. Not really sure, but still looks really cool. Love the black. The rear looks so cool with those super cool, like, those exhaust pipes and the cool lights. It all looks really cool. It all ties the shape of the car together really nice. So just like the upcoming Cadillac, it has this kind of, like, wing that goes along and then it goes up. So that's super cool. Headlights are the classic bull-eyed lights. Got a ton of actual vents, which is super cool. So that's really awesome. Um, but yeah, there's not a ton that I can say. really like the two-tone blue, Bugatti blue. So yeah, there's that one. I'm not even going to skip it, because actually I have it down here. But they also got me another car in the same set. So there you go. This one is the Volvo XC90, or 60, uh, 40. Wow, neither of them. So this is the Volvo XC40 Recharge. So this is a really cool one. It is a very Hot Wheels-ish kind of a take, which is so cool to see. Really like it. Um, there's the back. So if you want to see that, that's what the back looks like. Camera's not focusing. Got some, like, tree decals. No front detailing, but still you can kind of get the gist of it. Big push bar, huge wheels that does not look like they should fit, but it does. Then on the roof, the roof rack, they're so cool. There's snowboards on the top. Like, Hot Wheels has such a cool, like, detail. Uh, so, yeah, this one is pretty simple, but I really like it. Um, on to the next one, or ones. Okay, so, I am here with my next car, and it is this. It is a green light, blue collar series, 2000 Jeep Cherokee Sport. Snowplow. So, uh, sorry, that was a bit of a long name. But, yeah. Just get the elephant out of the room right here. It has a snowplow attachment on the front. This is easily one of the coolest green light cars I've probably ever seen. It's just the details are insane. I mean, I really like green light cars in general, but then you slap a snowplow on the front and it's awesome. So, there it is. Uh, not much I can say. But this one was from my sister also, so shout out to you, Kinsey, again. Um, so much, just a huge thank you for this one. On to the next one. Okay, so I'm back. I know that it was not as long for you guys, because it's just a quick little jump cut. But it took me a little bit longer, because while I was upstairs getting another car that I got, my dad actually called me over the tree. I had two more gifts that were put with the wrong pile of gifts for a different Christmas party. So I got to open those, and I'll still, I'll show you both of them, but one of them was a car that I am so ecstatic about because I did not expect it at all. Some of you, I'm sure, probably already know what this is, but I didn't expect it at all. So, um... There you go. Oh. Uh. Just take this out of here. So, here it is. This is Ryu's 1994. Is this a Honda or Acura? This one is a Honda NSX. Sorry. So, there you go. It doesn't look very special right now. But it has working lights. So, I'm just looking around the container. There's no way to show them, but... Yeah, this is so cool. So, the taillights light up. There's little police lights on the top. And there, the headlights light up. So, yeah. As you can... Well, I can tell. Maybe you can't. But the spoiler, you just press down and it lights up. That is super cool. I did not expect that. So, huge thank you to my mom and dad. Um, I did not expect that. So, thank you so much for that. Now, back to the car I was going to review. Okay, so I also got this. 
So this may look very familiar, um, cause it is. This is the mainline FedEx truck that Matchbox released. So this was actually, this one is from a set, cause I already have the other mainline version. This one's from the Matchbox Action Drivers FedEx delivery station set. Um, I will be doing another video about that another time with all of the FedEx trucks. But as of now, this is all you get. Just a sneak peek. This is the FedEx truck that it comes or that comes with it. So yeah, there's that. On to the next car. Okay, so this one is from my sister, and I think it's more of a joke, but it was actually on my Christmas list. So here it is. This is the Matchbox Monarch EV Tractor, or just Monarch Tractor, but it is electric, and this is just such a cool tractor, I don't even know what to, like, say about it. It is very small, like, very, very small, um, compared to a normal car, so, like, here I've got my caddy right here, oops, sorry, my electric scooter is about to fall over, that's okay. So anyway, you can tell the length is very small, the height is not, but it's super skinny. Like, just look at how skinny that is compared to that. That's crazy. Um, but either way, here it is. Super cool. Got some odd details, which I like. So yeah, there's that. Like all the uh, super cool colors that they have. Looks nice. On the roof, they have the word Monarch. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So yeah, there you go, there it says Monarch. And there's even, just on the real, just like on the real thing, there's a little like frunk. So I can fit my finger almost all the way in there. But yeah, super cool. Really like that. Maybe I'll do another tractor comparison video to that another time. But for now, on to the two big vehicles. Okay, so this is my next vehicle that I got. It is the new Hot Wheels Team Transport Flip Sider Hauler. So, I really, really love this casting. So, this is from my mom and dad, by the way. But here it is. Really love this one. And as you can tell, it has two... Well, it's like a normal... It's like a box truck, which is really cool. But there is a very small... So, there's the smaller door on the back that opens. And then, if I can get the car out don't want it to come flying out at me. Oh, okay, it is. Um, but anyway, so then here's the car. It's a very long name. I don't have it memorized. Oh, my. Um, LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35GT-RR Version 2. Also, yes, that is all on the bottom of this car. So you can pause it, take a screenshot, try to memorize it, because I just got this. I don't have it memorized. But anyway, there you go. Very cool. Detail on this car is incredible. Really love it. But this isn't about the car. This is about the hauler. So here it is. This is the full hauler. Also, you can watch a ton of other videos. They're all going to show you the cab is separate and it can come off. It's cool, um, but I'll try something after. But anyway, I'm a little bit sad. My side does not stay open. It just it falls right back down. Um, but that's only one of the sides. The other one stays open phenomenally. A little bit harder to get open, which is nice, I prefer. But yeah, so there's that. They're supposed to both, they can both be up at the same time, just that mine doesn't really want to stay up at the same time. It's a little bit floppy. It's okay, maybe my dad can fix it. So yeah, there you go. Super cool, you can see right through there. Very cool. I really like this casting either way. Also, you can watch the uh, Drifter D video on it, but there's this weird spot where you can have the car's wheels on the top so it doesn't roll away. I don't know. I kind of thought it was dumb. I'm going to always have it in there normally, but it's a video. Why not? I'll be displaying it. I'll put it right there. I'll be back with my other hauler. Okay, so this is my other team transport that I got. This is the second story lorry or two story lorry. I don't know, it's one of those two, but you get the point of it. Super cool. I really like this one. Comes with a Pantera. Get this open. Um I have to kind of like push it out this way. Um but yeah, so there you go. Comes with a De Tomaso Pantera. 
Super cool. I really like this car. I think it's a, it looks really good in the uh, golf livery. Details are incredible. But again, same story. It's not about the car. It's about the second story lorry. So, see, it is a little bit finicky to get this back on. But anyway, here it is. And it is probably one of my favorite haulers. In fact, I like it better than the flip sider hauler. Just because it can haul more and I think it looks a little bit, well... I don't know. Comment down below which one you think looks better. I guess I'll have to decide. Uh, I don't know. I'll put a poll up on my community page. How about that? But anyway, also, yes, it can haul multiple cars. So if I open this, then you drop it like that. So it can haul one car on the bottom. There's that. Also, it can pull forward, but it just looks better if it's back still. Um, it does not go up all the way up to the top. Just, it would cost a little bit too much. But I can use, still, the cars. So, use two very odd ones. I'll use the, uh, Jeep with the snowplow. And I'll use the Bugatti Bolide, because they're almost the same thing. Um, 